Good day, this is Mike Olden. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. So there are two ways that we control heat on the International EMV electric vehicle. One is by cooling it through the radiator fans as we're using it back at the engine. The second is our battery preservation. Our tri-packs are driven by two over-engineered systems for heating and cooling the two wafers, one, two, three, one, two, three. This system comes into play when it's above 80 degrees or below 30 degrees. Yes, it both heats and cools. We like to be comfortable, so do batteries. The perfect temperature is between 72 and 74 degrees. When it gets into the temperature zones of over 80 degrees ambient temperature, below 30 degrees ambient temperature, this particular fan system comes into play to make sure that the battery temperature is maintained. So let's take a look at the flow. This is true tubing, which comes into the cooling system to be cooled or heated, comes back to the outlet to return to the battery side. So this is our supply side, which comes down inside the frame rail line and convert into pipings, which flow up to the front. At this point here, we're juncturing back to two rubber hoses for flexibility and flows up and it actually diverts back into the battery flow to come in around and encapsulate the batteries to cool each individual pack and back into the inlet side. Again, this is Mike Golden. I wanted to share what this particular cooling device is, why it is important to the overall success of the electric E in the international truck. You can reach me 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. Let's go electrify your day.